Welcome to Dell Technologies Connectric Cisco MDS Breakfix Series. VSAN is down, isolation due to zone merge failure. Reason, zone mode mismatch, and default zone policy conflict. Reference Dell Knowledge Base Article Number 127843 and 039281. This video was created to demonstrate how to resolve vSEN isolation due to zone merge failure because of the reason, zone mode mismatch, and default zone policy conflict. When the zone mode enhanced or basic is different on the two ISL switches, the vSEN will not merge and gets isolated. ISL does not pass vSEN traffic between the switches. This video presents the following. This example shows the default zone policy is permit and the zone mode is basic. To enable or disable enhanced zoning in a vSAN, follow these steps. To permit or deny traffic to members in the default zone, follow these steps. When to do this? When vSAN is isolated due to zoned merge failure, because of the reason, zone mode mismatch, and default zone policy conflict. If you are using basic zoning, you must verify that the default zone policy, deny or permit, is same for all switches in the vSAN. If the default zone policy varies, then you may experience zoning problems. Enhanced zoning synchronizes your zone configuration across all switches in the vSAN, eliminating the possibility of mismatched default zone policies. Before you begin. Before using the zone mode enhanced vSAN command, verify that all switches in the fabric are capable of working in enhanced zoning mode. If one or more switches are not capable of working in enhanced zoning mode, then the request to enable enhanced zoning mode is rejected. By default, the enhanced zoning feature is disabled in all switches in Cisco MDS 9000 family. The default zone policy of permit means all nodes can see all other nodes. Use the zone default zone permit command to set the default zone policy to permit if you are not using zoning. Deny means all nodes are isolated when not explicitly placed in a zone. Default zone policy is set to deny by default. FC1 slash 43 on existing switch is ISL to FC1 slash 33 on new switch. Check the status of these interfaces in vSAN1. Check the zone status for vSAN1 on both the switches. New switch has default zone policy permit and zone mode set to basic. Whereas existing fabric has default zone policy set to deny and zone mode set to enhanced. In order to merge new switch with existing fabric, make the zone mode and default zone consistent on both the switches. In this demo, we are going to make the enhanced mode consistent on new switch and set the default zone same as existing fabric. Enter into configuration mode on new switch. Deny traffic flow to default zone members in vSAN1. Now, check the zone status in vSAN1. You can notice that default zone is now set to deny. Enable Enhanced Zoning in vSAN1. Enter Y at the prompt. Check the zone status again. Default Zone Policy and Zone Mode are consistent across both the switches now. Verify the status of Interface FC1-33 in vSAN1. vSAN is still down. Reset the Interface FC1-33. Verify the status of ISL. vSAN1 is up. Important notes. Enhanced zoning uses a session locking facility like Cisco Fabric Services to prevent simultaneous zoning configuration changes by two users on the same or separate switches. 
When a user starts to make a zoning change on one switch for vSAN, that switch will lock the fabric to prevent others from making zoning changes. The user must issue a commit to make the changes active and release the fabric wide lock. This command applies the changes to the enhanced zone database and closes the session. When the zone mode enhanced vSAN command completes successfully, the software automatically starts a session, distributes the zoning database using the enhanced zoning data structures, applies the configuration changes, and sends a release change authorization to all switches in the fabric. All switches in the fabric then enable enhanced zoning mode. Modifications to the zone database is done within a session. A session is created at the time of the first successful configuration command. On creation of a session, a copy of the zone database is created. Any changes done within the session are performed on this copy of the zoning database. These changes in the copy zoning database are not applied to the effective zoning database until you commit the changes. Once you apply the changes, the session is closed. If the fabric is locked by another user and for some reason the lock is not cleared, you can force the operation and close the session. You must have permission to clear the lock in the switch and perform the operation on the switch from where the session was originally created. Refer to the following for more information. Dell Knowledge Base Article Number 127843 and 039 Cisco MDS 9000 Family CLI Configuration Guide Enhanced Zoning Configuring the Default Zone Access Permission Thank you for watching.